Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I want to talk to you about something that's really important to us that live up here in the Pacific Northwest, and that's dry storage. So if you get something out of this video or you like what you see, don't forget to click that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, and don't forget to enter our 10K giveaway. We're about to hit 10,000 YouTube subscribers, all right? We've worked really hard on that. It's taken us a couple years to get there. Thank you, DJ Studio Man, for all your hard work and all those awesome editing skills, like when you do this lightsaber and the punch sound and the hammer and the frog. All right. You're making me earn I'm my making, check this week. I'm making you work. And it's gonna be hilarious though. If you thought that was funny, you gotta comment below. Um, Watch me not put it. Yeah, just, just don't do anything. All right, so basically, um, I don't know if you guys are aware of this. Okay, don't move, Calvin, okay? Oh, sometimes it just pours off here. It rains a lot where we live. It's unfortunate, but it's part of being in the Pacific Northwest. So one way to protect our tools is we use an easy up, which I'm actually gonna do a separate video on in the future and talk about these little shelters, these portable shelters. And that kind of keeps the, uh, our main tool area space fairly dry. But what I wanna talk to you about today are some of the various cases, the waterproof cases, and some of the other ways that we're able to keep a lot of our tools dry when we're not using them. Now, sometimes when it's coming down rain, that's why we use the Metabo HPT drills because they're IP56 rated and they'll handle the weather a little bit better than some of the other brands. But what we have here, we have three different brands to show you today. The first one is made by DeWalt and DeWalt um, makes all these different uh, storage uh, cases. They're called T-Stack and they have some other names and I don't know 100% um, what they're all called. But I have a couple of these T-Stack sets and they come with different types of compartments. So they have a large compartment. So in the larger compartments, we like put all of our drills in one of them. Okay, you can see that there's a a rubber gasket right here. And that rubber gasket helps seal it up and keep it water resistant. Okay, I'm not gonna say that these things are waterproof, but we do leave them out in the weather quite often. They do get soaking wet. These are really great cases. They have a double latch, like so. These are the older model. I'm still using the older models. I, st I still think they're great. And then they have these little break these things right here that will help you, you can latch a couple different types of these boxes together and stack them higher. That's why they call them T-Stack. I've heard from a lot of you guys, especially on Instagram, that these break a lot. Personally, I haven't broken any. Um, and then they have a handle right here. They also have an air valve that you're supposed to keep closed, um, but you can open it as well if you need to vent the box. So this one's pretty heavy, but you can pick it up with the handle like so. So we have about four of those. You have different tools in them. One's our um, Metabo HBT drills. Another one's our Roto Hammer and our Sawzall. And then we, we also have this backspace over here that you can keep all your bits in. So that comes in pretty handy as well. Okay. And then I don't know how many have heard of a Pelican case, but Pelican is a company that makes military grade industrial cases and I have a few of those, and I have usually uh, buy these on eBay. Sometimes I'll buy them brand new at a camera store or online. But like this one, this one particular Pelican case holds all of our specialty bits. T10, T20, T25, square drives, pre-drill, drill bits, extensions, blades, blades, all that stuff. Uh, 90s. I got about $1,000 sitting in this one case if you added up every $2 bit and everything else that I do, but it's important. So, you know, if we're just setting up a job site and it's coming down rain, you know, you can lock this with just two, two um, snaps and there's a handle on it and you can carry it. Okay, and then in the same family of Pelican, I have a little bit bigger one, a bigger case, and we've turned this into our battery charging case. Again, it has a rubberized seal on it. You can see it right here. All right, and uh, it works really well. I have had this case for, for many, probably 
10 years. I haven't lost a battery charger since. So I've had other cases where I had my battery chargers in it and, it and a squall came in and just torrentially rained on us and I lost all my battery chargers all at once. It's kind of vicious. And now we have, um, why is this battery not charging? Oh man. Anybody else having issues with their 12 volts? Or their 18, excuse me, the flex volt, the waltz, this 20 volt stuff? This is like a $200 battery and it won't charge. <laughs> Brand new. Brand new. What a bummer, huh? Enough complaining. So again, this case, we have an extension on a six way and then that goes in the case. And then this has four separate areas that lock. This is a Pelican 1610 case. This one's called a 1520 and this one's called a 1610. I have a couple larger Pelican cases at my house as well, but I don't use them at work anymore. Uh, because I scored on some of these. Now these are actually military cases that were used in Iraq. I don't remember the name of these cases, but they are very heavy duty. Um, I picked them up from a guy. He had a hookup on one of the military bases locally, and he had like a hundred of these things, and I got the like the last four or five that he had. Um, I paid a hundred dollars a piece for them. He wanted a buck fifty a piece, and since they're the last ones, a couple of them were missing one latch out of six or something like that. So we use these for our storage of our batteries. We have other tools and things like that. Um, we've decreased some of them because we'd, we'd start putting nail guns in them, which is cool, but then the case one will be half full like half the time, so it didn't make sense. When this thing's completely full of batteries, it's almost too heavy to carry, so we split the load. We put some batteries in this case, some batteries in that case, and then some batteries will leave on tools. And we just lock the triggers to make sure that they don't go off. All right, so the last case I want to show you guys is DeWalt's new Tough system. It's a newer system than the uh, old T-Stack system that I have. This is like the 2.0 Tough system. The other one, I've been saying T-Stack, but it might be called the Tough system as well. You guys know I don't get my verbiage right 100% every time, so you don't need to leave a comment and tell me I'm wrong because I know I probably am already, okay? Cool. So in this case... Now, I'm not as crazy about this one as I am about my other one because I can put things in it and ha I have shelves and removable shelves and I'll show you that in a minute. But this one, to get into it, I gotta take everything off of it to get access this case. So in this case, we have some jigsaws, some hand saws, portable planer, things like that. And we try to keep our branding like close. So like all DeWalt tools might be in this one. And then it has two latches as well. Okay, you can put those latches on like that. And then the next the next uh, box clips into these clips right here. See that? So now this is connected. So in, inside this one, we have all of our drill bits, all of our additional drill bits, because we have, but see, when you try to open this, this handle gets in the way. So if you drop the handle down, now you can open it. So this has all of our paddle bits, auger bits, and all of our various, it drill indexes and all of our blades for all of our sawzalls and all that stuff. So it's the, the re that's probably the main reason why we're keeping this on our site is because of this particular case. But it is kind of nice when you're um, setting up and taking down and it's pouring down rain. These have the seal in them as well. Right here. It's a little bit more substantial than the old ones and it helps keep the moisture out. All right, and then on top of this, we actually have this little guy, which I don't think we've really filled with much, but it kind of stacks on that as well, so it locks into place. This one's a lot newer, so this case is a lot newer, and it comes with a couple of bins, so you can keep miscellaneous stuff in there, but we just haven't filled it yet. So when those are all locked together, then it becomes a modular system, and then you can pull your handle back up, and off you go. Now I think the reason they made it like this is what I was told was that when you collapse this handle and you take this off, it'll fit in a truck with a tonneau cover without having to take it all apart. So that doesn't matter to me because I don't have a tonneau cover on my truck and I got a flatbed and I have an F-350 open and then I've got a, tr a tool trailer, which is usually where these go is in the tool trailer. But it is kind of cool, you can wheel it around. But again, if I need to get into here, I gotta take this off. They do make some sliding drawer uh, cabinets and I think I'm going to invest in those eventually. But right now, this is what I, what we have. We actually have a little too much 
of this kind of stuff because when we pack our trailer to leave all these boxes end up all the way almost to the very do outside of the door so when we pick and we don't stack it to the ceiling but we stack it about this tall so um we're gonna have to minimize and economize a little bit i don't know i don't think i'm gonna retire this but we'll see so I hope that answers some questions for you guys. I know there's other modular sets. I know Rigid has one and Milwaukee has one as well. I don't have access to any of those. Um, I'm not gonna purchase a whole nother set. So I've kind of gone with this brand, DeWalt. I'm happy with it. It seems to work good. I, nothing's really broken on it. So I'm gonna keep rocking it until we do. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to go enter that 10K giveaway. Check our videos, it's, it's not too deep. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Oh, don't forget to click that subscribe button. With a click, 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 click.